I am a black conservative woman. I realize that living in America, I have to preface my statements with that. I realize that my community, though we have contributed culture to America, we haven't always been grateful for the material possessions that white America has helped us out of our own demise. I, I would I would just say that and you know we rob and loot them. I realize that um, a lot of people think that black Americans are too far gone, but there are individuals, many millions of individuals who are doing their own thing and are thankful for being in the United States and the freedoms that we all share. With that being said, an older white Floridian woman named Kathleen Parker, who works for the Washington Post, says that Vice President Harris should resign. Now, why would the Washington Post hire an old white conservative Floridian? I wouldn't even I hire it for a national newspaper a columnist who's an old black um, Floridian without some extensive research into their background, um, you know, their cultural upbringing. I was raised in Florida. I have a degree from the University of Florida. White people, a lot of older white people are paranoid that black people are going to retaliate against them for the past. A lot of old black people are currently and, you know, in the 90s and the early 2000s are paranoid that white people are going to retaliate against them for a civil rights and BLM. There's a lot of paranoid older white people and black people in the state of Florida. And I don't know why the Washington Post wouldn't do further investigation on this person. Um, you know, especially now that we have, you know, black history being taught in churches and Ron DeSantis being elected <laughs> by you know, over, uh, I think, over 56 of Florida's counties. Um, yeah, that means some black people, some Latino people were voting for him too. Um, I would definitely do a double check, you know, on things. And I'm a conservative telling you this, but um, within the Republican movement, we also had, you know, January 6th and people making excuses for that. Um, you know, some people indifferent, etc. I would do a double check for any old person of any race from the state of Florida. Thoroughly, I, I'm telling you this growing up, from growing up there, thoroughly research their background regardless of what race they are. Vice President Pence and Vice President Harris basically did and do respectively the work that their president did not have time to do. Vice President Harris is fulfilling Biden's agenda he, uh, the Indo-Pacific Alliance, she traveled out to Asia and did an Asia uh, tour, strengthen, using her heritage, rightfully so, to strengthen America's alliance with Asia, to, you know, shore up the South China 
see and make sure that China is not invading Taiwan um, and becoming a communist threat to democracy within Asia. Um, discussing with naval captains and leaders of the Navy how to patrol, how to help Taiwan patrol that area. Speaking at the Naval Academy, um, speaking about how to control, speaking with the president of the Bahamas about how to control the uh, waters in the Caribbean, um, especially when it comes to illegal migrants, um, especially Haitians and Cubans who like to cross into Florida. Vice President Harris uh, spoke with the Bahamian Prime Minister um, and other Caribbean leaders late last year. And the Bahamas and Cuba coordinate, you know, uh, catching illegal immigrants in the, I call it traffic the diamond waters, you know, that South Florida, the Bahamas, and Cuba share thereby preventing these illegal aliens from landing in the Bahamas, from landing in Cuba, and from landing in the United States. And remember, the United States and Cuba don't have a good relationship. Um, and we all know part of the reason that Cuba's economy is kind of stuck in the 1950s is because their biggest trade partner <laughs> stop trading with them you know the biggest trade partner in the western hemisphere stopped trading with them many decades ago but yet the vice president harris is able to use her caribbean heritage to speak with the bahamians and the bahamians use their friendliness with Cuba to say, hey, you know, I know you're not cool with America like that, but let's help them, help us, help ourselves, keep this immigration thing under control. I like that Vice President Pence, you know, he respected his wife. He wouldn't have a lot of meetings with women uh, politicians without his wife present and you know he was big on you know the military keeping up, up the morale of the military vice president pence did so many surprise visits um to you know army uh stations and naval um stations submarine bases etc um, Vice President Harris, you know, big on, you know, controlling the waters of Asia and the Caribbean, you know, and uh, women's reproductive rights. She's the border, she's also the border czar for the southern border. That's obviously not going so well. But Pence wasn't good with everything either. I'm cheering for Team America. I agree with the Republican side. But part of being American and winning people to the Republican side is caring about their general welfare, uh, caring about their daily lives, being nice to people, never wishing that because someone disagrees with you that they be fired from their job. Part of the reason that Republicans don't like Vice President Harris because she's so good <laughs> at Biden's agenda. She's actually a very good vice president for the Democrats. And that's part of the reason why Republicans don't want her to become president. And yes, some of them don't like her race but most of it is because she's very good in promoting, you know, 
pro-abortion stances and things of that nature. And, you know, a lot of us Republicans don't want that to become America's main, you know, social conversation, BLM, and things of that nature. Fire her for what? She's good at, at the, gen, the Democrats' agenda. I don't wish anybody to lose their job. I don't wish Pence, I don't want, I don't wish Biden to lose their job. We're going to, you know, just because I don't like them. She has a family. People have families to feed. You know, I don't, no. That's, that's not nice at all. And, um, we don't start wishing that, you know, people be fired now they can be voted out and we're going to have a contest they're going to be you know if she's voted out or if trump loses you know everybody has enough time to prepare for all different scenarios that's what we do in america we don't say oh she needs to be fired right now that's not very kind 